So today is a very special day. We're taking the Honda VFR 800 to Honda UK. We're leaving that there and I'm bringing back the 2022 CB500X for my first press bike review. Super excited, super proud to get to this point. I've tried not to look into the bike or read too much information. I want to try and ride this bike without knowing too much so I can actually do a proper review without my mind being tainted by what others have said. The only thing I've needed to check is the width of the bars and the reason being is I've got to make sure I can get the bars through here which I don't think I'm going to so if that's the case it's going to have to go in my dad's garage so that's the only bit of information I've asked on the I think it was the CB500X Facebook group just so I can know the width of the bars apart from that I haven't read up anything else about it so it's a very popular bike I've heard there is a bit of a waiting list for them so they must be in high demand right then let's go and put some fuel in and let's go and get this bike Okay, so we're ready. So we've also got this GoPro 10, what was gifted to me. So let's try it out, let's see what it's like. I don't know if I've got the angle right. Right, let's get some juice. I'm going to head over to Honda. So thank you very much Honda UK for this opportunity. I'm going to try and do my reviews a little bit different. Uh, this review no, well, not this review. This first video will be, will be me picking up the bike and the very first ride. So you'll actually see my very first impression. It won't be what it's like after I've used the bike. I want to try and capture my first impressions. And also, I want to do a walk around of the bike on a nice dry day. Not today. But I want to do an in-depth walk around, so I want to look at everything on the bike, go into detail. And that's something where if there's something I'm looking at or something I want to buy, I like to find out everything about it. I want to see everything. So I know quite a few other channels do the walk rounds, but I want to do an in-depth walk round of every little, not every nut and bolt, but pop around the bike. We'll probably read out some of the the spec as we're doing it. So we don't know the spec of the bike. So we'll do all that on another video. Then we'll do some night riding. We'll test out the light, what it's like in the dark. Obviously today we're doing some motorway riding. We'll try a few different things. Right, let's get some juice and I'll see you at Honda. Right, so here we are. We've got the bike. This is a 2022 CB500X. I've just picked it up. I've pulled out of the depot. It's got a full tank of fuel. It's been serviced. Let me just do my straps up. It's got a little tank bag on it. That'll come in handy. Sounds nice. Well then, let's go for a ride. Oh, the seat height's nice. Right then. Whoa, the 
such such a smooth it's like butter well right, what we got on the display speedo temperature gear indicator time fuel gauge turn it right okay Rider position's lovely. Mirrors are good. I've just got to get used to that indicators. Because I'm used to going here on the VFR, but that's the horn. I don't know if the camera angle's right. I can't flat foot it. I can get both feet down. Start. Hazards. Horn. Headlamps. Flash. I'd imagine there's a USB what goes there. Screen. Well, that clutch is really smooth. There's not even any pressure on it. It seems to have a nice little bit of poke in it. Oh, that position is lovely. That is a really, really nice wider position, that is. Does nice with the bumps. Oh, the brakes are good. I don't know how much torque it's got, but it feels uh, feels nice. It's not too snatchy. Seems alright actually, that does, for a 500. The seat, I can move forward and backwards on it. That's nice actually, you can change the position while you're riding. Movers are good. So far, it feels a nice little bike. That's got a nice bit of pull in it, that has. Such a difference coming from the VFR to this. There's no pressure on the shoulders whatsoever. Have we got a bit of blue sky? Yeah, I might need to adjust the screen. I've got a bit of buffeting going on there. There, it's fine. But I think this screen is it's a manual adjustment. I think you have to adjust the bolts. Engine braking's quite good. I can't believe how light, how light that clutch is. It feels as if the cable snapped or something. It feels that light. Yeah, I definitely need to adjust that screen. I'm getting a bit of buffeting going on. So, my first press bike. Thank you, Honda UK, for loaning me this bike for a couple of weeks. We'll get to know it, we'll do a bit of night riding. We're about to do some motorway riding. We'll go through the spec, we'll do a walk round. We'll give it a wash. Those brakes are brilliant. I cannot get over that clutch. I mean, my VFR is a 2008, so is it age? Is that the difference? Clutches are not heavy anymore. 
I can see in the reflection of that car the indicators are not on flashing but they are on daylights Nice bit of pickup in it actually. Here comes the rain. feel when lorries come past or you go past lorries obviously it'd be the 500 it's not that heavy I'll have to check out the weight of it actually but it's pretty stable it's not too bad engine vibrations good But one thing I have noticed is my right hand's aching and I think that's just purely because I'm in a different position with the throttle compared to the VFR. But on the VFR I'm more down on the wrists so I think my hands are trained that way so it's just a different position for me to get used to. It's going to be a shock getting back on the VFR after this. But it's not too bad, I mean today it's uh, quite windy today. So coming past these lorries, there is a bit of a gust, but it's nothing major. Obviously on the VFR I've got full fairing, so I'll kind of cut through the wind. Let's take him out, let's go. Whatever you do, don't fall off. Don't land on me. Yeah, that's all right. Feels solid, feels stable, feels planted. Yeah, my, my right hand, whew, I can feel it down, down my scaphoid. I think the scaphoid is the outside of your hand, isn't it? Right, if I'm in the right gear here, yeah, I can definitely feel aching on the right hand side. But that's purely, I think because my hand's in a different position compared to what I'm used to but so far I don't know nothing about the bike none of the spec I wanted to just get on the bike and go with that feel of what it's like just to ride without knowing too much information and I like it the bum feels lovely my legs are not aching my knees are not aching. That's the thing on my VFR, my knees ache. I mean, it's got, it seems to have plenty of pick up in it when you want it. It drives lovely on the motorway. Absolutely fine. 
I like the screen. I think the screen might be better the other way around if it was white with black numbers. So I'm getting a bit of a reflection of me in the glass. So I don't know whether you can adjust the brightness, I don't know yet. The M6 has got to be the worst motorway. It's always summer happening. I've got the earplugs in so I can't I can't really tell what it sounds like. I can feel it roaring underneath me when I pull the throttle. At the moment everything's new. The riding position, the feel, obviously it's a new bike, everything's smooth, nothing rattles. I've got all that to get used to. Filtering's fine on it, handles very well. It's very easy to uh, keep the bike balanced while you're moving at low speeds. I suppose that's the uh, wider bars that gives you that, uh, that ability. Oh, it's quite nice standing up. The motorway was sh the motorway. Right, I've got to see now if it'll fit through. You reckon? Yeah, I'll put it in there. No, I'll put it in. I'll get it in mine. Have you said today? 